Okay there, hello everyone, this is Delane speaking. Right, now if you're like me, and you have been trying to use your favourite video editing software, like say Sony Vegas, and you get some sort of silly error saying you have low memory, and um, your system has not got enough memory to continue the operation, this will now close, or something like that, any application at all, so any, say if you're using any intense program like Sony Vegas to process your video renderings or I don't know, you're using Photoshop to do some heavy picture editing or something to that effect, or big, some big program you're making or gaming, whatever, and it's crashed to, due to some error about memory. Well, I had that problem earlier, and basically it's saying you have not got enough system memory. Now the thing in my computer, as you can probably see, I have 8 gig, 8 gigabytes of RAM. Now at the moment I'm not using too much. I've got quite a bit running but I don't worry too much. And you can see Sony Vegas uses 400 meg. Well, it can go up to more than 2 gig at times which can be a pain. But I should have enough, enough space. So basically, the main reason could be is um, it's a 32 bit application which Sony Vegas is. Now a good way to do it is if you go into your Windows Explorer and you go into your Windows installation ignore the fact mine's B, I'm stupid enough to have mine messed up but typically you want local disk C so you go into your Windows folder you pro and you go into, you've got two program files, folders the top first one is your 64 bit applications that are programmed to work like that, there aren't many really in my case that are 64 bit. Or you've got this folder with next under it, which is your 32 bit folder. And what you do, if you go into here, you'll see there's a lot more programs in here. So, for my example, mine is Sony Vegas, which I was having problems with. So you go down, keep going, see if you can find it. And of course, look, there's this Sony Vegas Movie Studio. So, there you go, it's a first bit application. Now the main problem is you might have a 64-bit system installed like me, which basically handles the 8 gig. Now with a 32-bit operating system you're only going to be able to have up to 3.5 gig. Anything past that doesn't register so you lose it. So if you've got 4 gig you lose half. If you've got 8 then well you're losing 3.5 and and gig. But if you've got a 64 bit operating system, which you should do considering you've got your 8 gig or 4 gig of RAM, then you should be fine. But with these programs, they still seem to be restricted to how much space you, they, uh, how much RAM they can access. So, what you do, I found this neat little program on the internet, on Google, at my website, of course, and it's called Anticores Explorer C C F F Explorer. Links up there, NTC NTCore.com. So just copy that link into the address bar, go onto the website, um, download it. Of course, we went out long. Install it, which will be done very quickly, run. Very easy to do, no advanced settings to do. Finish. Now, NT Core, which isn't there. So I can't find it in my example. So if you've got Windows 7, just do CFF Core, CFF, click on Explorer, and you'll get this program come up. Now this is the program you'll use, so what you do, you've got your little open icon here, click on there. Then direct yourself to your folder, which is B, Windows, Program, or B, we'll see, it will go, I'll talk in your sense, if you're on an average system which is not messed up like mine, you go into C, you go into Program Files, x86, and you look down, you go down, you keep clicking through till you find your program. Now for Sony Vegas 10, you're looking for... Where are we? 
this one here Vegas Movie Studio PE100 uh, for the different versions I believe it's Sony something 100 the EXE so you click on the application and open and you'll see you'll get all these little options come up it tells you about the file name see file type tells you it's 32 bit how it was programmed just C++ encryption stuff build numbers blah 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 now what you do next you've got these trees down here now you haven't got to worry too much about all this the only thing you've got to be concerned about to look at is file header on the left hand side so you click on there and you'll get all these options come up now what you do it's the bottom one you want so you click on characteristics you see here it says click here so you click on there and you get a little pop-up now what you do all you need to do is halfway down you'll see this one here app can handle more than two gigabyte address space that will be unchecked like that for you when you first open it so you click on there click on OK that will change that then just click the save button overwrite the original file and that will just reprogram the file ok ignore that, it shouldn't do that and then you can just save it like that and then just file and exit and there you go, and there you have it, that should fix your problem now um, that will work for Sandy Vegas, I actually did render a file earlier and um, I left it when I went to work and it was fine, I had no problems at all whatsoever and I came back and it was encoded and where's my video uh, and there's my final project and it was recorded, not a problem at all it covered every single bit, bit of it so I hope that has helped you out with your problem and um, if you found that helpful, if you found that useful of course please um, like my video and subscribe if you are interested in any, any more tutorials and if you think that was useful let me know and if um, and I'll probably do more tutorials from time to time as they come along if they need to if there's a need, if people would like to learn different things but my, like I said, my, channel, my channel is a gaming channel but I suppose I won't advertise it too much because you, well you found the video you, you can have a look at it yourself if you wish I'm not going <laughs> to force that down on you so this is Delaying Out thank you very much for watching my video and I hope that helps you out with your memory problems and your programs thank you